The TTC's public safety concerns have led the transit agency to try and find more money to deal with the immediate concerns, and that means leadership coming to City Hall to get approval for some extra finances from its reserves, while City Hall is already dealing with its own budget issues. It's important that the, uh, the council approve or authorize this $15 million so that the TTC can continue on its path to uh, ensuring that the TTC is safe uh, for all of our customers, all of our employees. $15 million is what the TTC says is needed to keep a heightened sense of security on its subways, buses and streetcars, with violent incidents continuing to take place. While some money is budgeted for health and safety, the additional funds would take care of what are being called interim measures. So right now we're spending money in contracts up to May 1st, uh, assessing where we go with the existing contracts and what type of results we're seeing. We're all consolidating data, as I, as I said at the, the council meeting. I will be extending some contracts, you know, I'm working on those now to make sure that uh, we continue to keep people in stations until we see the data is really making a difference. Back in January, the city did add security guards and community safety ambassadors to TTC property to address immediate concerns. 80 police officers were also deployed on overtime to provide an extra presence as well, but that ended earlier this month. The difference is, is that we only have a finite number of resources as well. So, uh, you know, we can get pulled away to other competing things that are occurring in the city. And certainly it's not the same as dedicating police resources entirely to TTC safety. Others are calling for more social services to deal with any mental health issues that may arise that could cause customers or employees concerns. I'm not sure that it is. Uh, as we've heard, it's a temporary sort of stopgap to address this issue that obviously Torontonians are rightfully concerned about. What we're here to do is make choices um, and to hopefully encourage the correct kind of choices to be made. The bottom line, though, is the bottom line. And what the city says is a constant need to dip into savings without the province and federal government stepping in. Because what's collected at the fare box won't cut it. Of course I'm concerned about uh, going further into reserves. Obviously we need to meet the moment where there is enormous insecurity and justified uh, concern about safety on the TTC that needs to be addressed. That being said, uh, we can't just keep putting band-aids on it. We know we need to do more. We know we can do more. But we also need to show today to the province and the federal government that they need to step up and help us. For too long, we have been plugging the holes in the system. We have been stepping up when they haven't. In the end, City Council approving the transfer of $15 million to the TTC in order to extend those contracts that Rick Leary was talking about until the end of this year. Mark McAllister, City News.